On the eighth day of beer, Miss My True Love gave to me Goose Island's Bourbon County brand Carmella Ale. That's right, everybody. We got a good one today. It's all the way from 2020 Bourbon County's brand Carmella Ale. This is a wheat wine ale aged in bourbon barrels with apple, cinnamon, and natural caramel flavor. Hmm. I've been hanging on to this one for a while. I've had it before. Um, I remember liking it. But I'm not going to say a whole lot more. Influence Mary over here. I thought this would be perfect for the season. Mm -hmm. uh, our last video, we did the Eden. Electric Eden, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, that had a lot of similar flavors, you know, the caramel and the apple and the cinnamon. Um, but this is a wheat wine. Hmm. Um, what is that? I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. To a Google? The type of ale. Yeah, let's go to the Googles. Oh, similar to barley wine, wheat wine is sweet, malty, and high in alcohol between 8 and 12% ABV. The amount of wheat can vary, but typically comprises about half of the grain bill, or roughly 40 to 60%. The rest is barley malt. Okay. Uh, and just so everyone's aware, this was aged in barrels, like I said. And then on the back, it says 100% aged in barrels from our friends at Larceny Bourbon. Larceny Bourbon is a bourbon that's gotten very popular nowadays. Um, it's supposed to be pretty good stuff. I've never had it personally, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, it looks like it says drink by September 2nd, 2025. So we are still good. I'm pretty excited for this. It does say enjoying the snifter as well. Oh shoot, we were gonna just drink it out of the bottle. I would... Um, you have had Bourbon County's brand stout, the regular stout, um, off camera. I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember it, but mm -hmm. it's a similar bottle, just a different wrapping. Mm -hmm. um, and you, I remember you liking it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, but it's a, it's a solid basic stout. This has nothing to do with that. This is part of their releases. They do every Black Friday every year around Thanksgiving. Um, they usually do a lot of different varietals and stuff. And this is this is one of those from 2020. Hmm. Um, but yeah, it's I always like the wrapping on it. Um, yeah, what's up with this? Why do they do that? That's just an extra tag. That's annoying. Uh, Goose Island is, like it says on here, one of the originators of bourbon barrel aging stouts. And... Uh, up here it says it develops in the bottle up to five years so they're telling you it's okay to age this seller this for five years because it's gonna develop over time so this is two years old a little more than that now but i'm pretty excited for it me too and it looks like they've been coming out with you know, bourbon county since 1992 okay. me too yeah any thoughts before we crack this open i'm excited about it i've never had a, a wheat wine like i feel like you've never had a wheat wine ale before either oh you have you just didn't know what it was i had this one. Oh well how come we didn't know what it was then i just didn't look it up i just chased the beer <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah i mean all those flavors sound really good i like a uh, what apple cinnamon and natural caramel yep, yeah natural caramel caramel there's another a in it friends well that's another here there or there that's enough talking let's get to drinking Mary, do you know what time it is? I don't know, like 7.30. No, it's time to ho ho open the bottle! Wow. New silent bottle cap for you? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm always excited anytime I get to open a bottle of Bourbon County brand anything. It smells like apple cider. I hope so, it's got apple and cinnamon in there. And they've already seen, I think, three or four of our episodes at this point of our cider reviews. They have? Oh yeah. You think? You hope. Oh, wow. It smells very sweet. Reminds me a lot of a barley wine. Yeah, for sure. I feel I'm like it's... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be very sticky sweet. It could be. Um, some barley wines are, if you remember that. Um, but I get a lot of that caramel flavor really coming through on here. Mm. A lot of like sweet Granny Smith apples and like no cinnamon. Maybe 
Yeah, maybe a little bit like like those lollipops that you were talking about earlier. I think okay. this smells more like those 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 apple caramel lollipop things that you yeah. were talking about earlier. Um, it's it this this smells like it's gonna be a hangover the next day if I drank this whole thing by myself. I have done that before, and uh, I didn't have a hangover the next day. But it's it's smelling a lot like Arcane Rituals, which we reviewed this Halloween. All right, let's taste it. Oh yeah. A lot going on there, huh? Have you ever seen that video of that little girl who like, she's obviously tasting something and then someone off camera says, how do you like it? And she's like, at first she's like smiling and she goes, and then she goes, and then she swallows it and she goes, have you ever seen that video? No. <laughs> I think I, my face did that because like, at first, it smelled really good. It tasted good at first, and then there's a little middle part where it's like this is just too much of a sweetened iced tea, and then it goes back to tasting like good apple and caramel. And I'm glad that there's not a lot of cinnamon in here because I think that would really ruin it for me. There's a little bit of cinnamon in here, but you're right. This is more caramel than anything for me. Mm -hmm. And then I get a little bit of that apple on the end with a lot of the caramel. The middle for me is like a lot of alcohol. Hmm. I think I get more of the alcohol at the end, but it's not a lot. I get a lot of alcohol in the middle for some really? reason. Really? Let me chew it. Hmm. Yeah, obviously the, the longer you keep it in your mouth, the more alcohol it gets. Oh my God, don't do that. You're gonna die. This is a big time sipping ale. As with any of these big stouts, any of these big beers, they are something to enjoy, not to chug. Um, you easily let this warm up, sit, and just sip on it. Let me guess the ABV because I keep not looking at the bottle. I think I feel like I'm looking anywhere except the bottle. Okay, go ahead and guess the ABV. I think after I chewed it, it's a big boy. It's not a stout, but it's a big boy. Boy, that thing that I just read, they said what between eight and ten percent or eight ten and 12. twelve. Ten and twelve, something and like that's that. That's non-bur non-barrel yeah, age. So, this so it is gives like you a hint. Fourteen point eight. Final answer. Fourteen point seven. Final answer? Yes. Okay. The ABV on this beer is fourteen point six percent. So close. You've been down. so really close on a lot of these lately. I am the best. You're welcome. You're the best at this game. I am the best. I don't have a lot of talents, but this is one of them. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a really tasty beer, but if you do not like alcohol, as in the flavor or that little bit of alcohol punch, then you're probably not gonna like this, honestly. I mean, yeah, I guess so. I mean, cold, it, it, it it's not crazy high. Like, it doesn't taste like it's an alcohol punch, but when it gets warmer, yeah, don't do that if you're not into that. But Anytime a beer gets warmer, the alcohol yeah. is going to really come out if it has a lot of alcohol. But, yeah, I mean, oh, there's the cinnamon. I would say more caramelly and alcoholy than anything. I think there's, um, it's sweet a little bit, like there's like a little bit of a kick of a sweet, fruity flavor. Yeah. That's obviously the apple, but it's not anything that I could put my finger on. Like I, I wouldn't be able to tell you there's apple in here. This is a beer too that now that we're, we're tasting it fresh again here, I think this is great for the season, great for mm -hmm. this time of the year. Mm -hmm. It really warms you up, mm -hmm. um, and like you said in our previous video, the cinnamon and the apple really make you think of winter, family, getting together, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a 4.5. It's missing a little bit of that cinnamon for me, and uh, I wish the alcohol was just toned down just a little bit on this. Hmm. I'm going to give it a 4.75. I'm not mad at the no cinnamon after all those pumpkin beers that we just had. And I'm very happy with the alcohol. Nice, yeah. I, I kind of wish there was a little bit more apple in there. 
Yeah, they could do a little bit more, but I get I get it enough, but I'm just I'm missing the cinnamon in here. Um, yeah, Bourbon County rarely, if ever, lets me down. Honestly, always a good time to open one of the bottles. My first or second favorite bottle shape, Lemon Bottle Logic. Okay. Just the shape of the bottle. Yeah. I don't know why it just is pleasing to the eye. Yeah. I think it's a cool bottle. I kind of like that there's no front label, like paper label, sticker or anything like that. I like the simplicity of just it's embossed on. Yeah, it. they're 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 raised glass name stuff, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Goose Island's out of Chicago, owned by AB and Bev nowadays. But that's not gonna stop me from buying a couple of their stuff here and there. I guess I know a couple of people. One person in. In particular, who hates AB and Bev, you know, he hates it. And I say, you know what? If it tastes good, it tastes good. Who cares? You know? Yeah, I agree. But uh, I'm super excited. That's two in a row where we've both given the same review um, and the same rating. It's a lot of tasty beers that mm -hmm. we have lined up. Many more tasty beers on the way. Yes. There are only five more days of Christmas left. So, like the video, share it with your friends so they can get caught up, click on those jingle bells and you'll be notified when we upload the next video. You're not going to want to miss them. But until then, we're the Rumatures, drawing every beer from around the world. One, One sip at a time! time. Yeah. Let's taste it and see what else there is at. Wow. Alright, so let's taste it. <laughs> Why did that one make you laugh? Let's taste it. <laughs> <laughs>